Hello everyone and welcome to the Kefalonia vlog 2023. I did film this video when I was at home or this clip of the video but somehow I lost it. Anyway, a bit of background about why I'm out here. Um, I'm doing my residential section for my Goldrick's Edinburgh which needs to be five days, four nights but um, I stayed for two weeks because it was meant to be a sort of holiday, although <laughs> the reality quickly sunk in. Um, anyway, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. I'm just inserting loads of snippets throughout the first week. The second week was basically the same as the first, no point in repeating it, but I hope you enjoy all the same, give you a bit of a taster about what life was about when I was out here and Leg one is done from Edinburgh to London Gatwick. Um, we're in this restaurant called Giraffe. Never been in one before, but we'll try it. So, yes, we only have a four hour way over until our other flight takes off and just try to take my photograph. Lovely. So, we've been through security now, um, taking advantage of my discount card once again by getting a Starbucks, um, and we are now just under two hours to wait till the flight, so we've wasted some time. I've been craving a pit of souvlaki for nine months. Less than two hours off the plane, here we are. So this is the centre of Arkostoli apparently, a square with restaurants and a random dog. Look how lovely that black toilet and everything is in the bathroom. This is very posh. This is the bathroom area and that's the shower on the other side and then I'll just give you a room tour. So I'm actually obsessed with this. This is why I started in the bathroom. There's one of these posh sinks as well that the water runs down there. Me. Hello. And then this is the bedroom with the frog. And then outside there is a balcony with a hot tub which goes off after midnight, which it is. Um, and then a lovely little table on and these lovely panels and we've got a view of the harbour or part of it. I was told this place shut at 11 but there's people still out partying. Even just added touches like this is really nice. Just to make this extremely clear. This is my parents' room and not mine. We're getting somebody dancing in the background. My accommodation will be nowhere near the standard, so I'm making the most of the two days while I'm here. Um, and we have a trip mascot, Turtle, obviously, because I'm going to do turtle conservation. His name is Zorba, because we are in Greece after all. And yeah, he's coming with me. I've actually just had a feast for breakfast. As you saw, there was more that kept on coming out. That wasn't even the half of it. Here is the harbour in the daylight. This was where we flew down or back, I don't know. It's raining a bit day, but you know, we cope. There's a traditional parade on today. Your aim, well, your prediction was a military thing. Mm -hmm. And we've reached the square of the actual shopping area now. Just like Corfu Town with a wee church. So I'm not going to lie, it just feels like I'm wasting time at the minute today. Um, my holiday hasn't started as of yet because this is not what this is about for me. So yeah, it's just been a, a, it's been a strange one to do. I was meant to be sleeping, but I think I'll just relax instead. Um, but yeah, just thinking out loud, basically, in this clip. Last night I had a treat. Don't know how much chocolate's in there. It's a new day. I'm in my accommodation that I am staying in for the next two weeks. It's humble, but it's cute. Um, so I'll give you a little room tour. So there's four people going to be in my room. There's a little cute 
kitchen area. Um, oh, there's a hob on top of the microwave. That's a new thing. I've seen many variations of microwaves. And then this is bathroom. So, yeah. Good morning. Um, first night in the accommodation was good. I slept well. Everybody else slept well. We all crashed out around like 10, half past nine, 10 o'clock. Um, anyway, this is my cute little t-shirt that I am wearing um, to be identifiable with the time that I'm here. This is just going to be the current state of my hair for the next two weeks. I've accepted that. But yeah, it, like the vibe is different than what I thought, but in a good way. If that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, today is just introduction stuff, um, learning about everything that we need to do, and then there's something on later on. I think it's Beach Rounders. Anyway, it should be a fun day. We were all up at super early as well, so it gives us plenty of time to get ready, um, and I'm feeling good. Feeling positive. So I'm on a little midday walk by myself because everybody else in the villa seems to have went for a bike ride. There's no bikes left and I was in the middle of eating my lunch. Um, but I'm going to spot some planes, you know how much I like that. Um, there's cats, lots of cats in the villa. So I'm basically just in my happy place in Greece with cats and planes. What could be better? It's dreams come true. Um, we have another talk in 25 minutes or so. So yeah, I need to be back for that. I'm not going all the way down to the beach, I don't think, because that'll be too so, far. This afternoon, I did something that I never thought I would do. Um, considering the temperature of the water, I went in the sea, and I mean in, in the sea. Um, it was absolutely freezing, but once, if you just keep your legs moving all the time, then yeah, it was fine. Um, it's just one of those experiences I don't think I'll ever get to live again, like, well obviously I'll get to go and see them, <laughs> I'm not being that morbid, but just with people that I've newly met and a big group of us and we played beach rounders um, and I'm doing the things that I used to do in student life of taking the bins out, but yeah, a good afternoon. So today I'm going to meet my parents and we're going all around the island to explore. Pretty sure we're going to some caves. Um, yeah, it should be good. And yesterday, never filmed anything because I did my harbour survey in the morning, um, which is like spotting out for how turtles feed, how they interact with one another. Came back, we had another talk in the afternoon, had lunch, and then I done my beach profile. I was wiped after that. So yeah, it is going to be a good day. A lot of people have got a day off. They've went to the caves. <coughs> but me and my parents had decided that we're going to do it together. So we're doing it together. I'll film bits throughout the day. Because I feel like I've barely filmed anything since I've started this volunteering. As you can tell, I'm going up a hill. <laughs> So we were just in the Nelsani cave. I put together a montage of photos because it wasn't that long um, to film. And now we're just walking up a tunnel. We're not actually still in the cave. up really really early for a morning survey um, actually at 5am so morning surveys 
just are basically checking for any turtle tracks um, and then if there's nests and stuff protecting them. This beach is so busy and I'm not sure getting weird looks but we have came to the sea for a little swim um, as you can hear by the waves and yeah then we're going to go back for some lunch. just realised that I had sand all over my face in that last clip, so sorry about that. Um, just trying to figure out what's for lunch, because... Right, we've got a whole loaf of bread, whether we... Oh, the sand's still there. Whether we have ham is a different question. Uh, <laughs> that's 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 the other one, I I don't like, even when he offers me pop, I don't mind like, this. Okay. I know when he does. Symbol of cracker, all the snow is making a baby. So I'm currently on morning harbour survey. Um, I just, as the days go on, I find it more and more ironic that my parents aren't out here to volunteer with or for sea turtles, but they're seeing way more than I am. I have seen zero turtles so far. It's sad, but you know, it's the reality of research sometimes. It just doesn't work the way you want it to. Um, Anyway, yeah, it's Friday. We made it to the end of the working week. Whoop whoop. I think it's Starla. Or no. No, because look at Starla. Oh, out for dinner um, in a village called Lassie which is the nice, uh, the nice, the next resort along. Obviously a Scots Lassie's a girl, no it's the name of a Greek village here. Um, I wish I had an eyebrow plucker because it's really starting to get to me like look how bad that is but you know it's only another 10 days until I get home and rehumanize myself. <laughs> I love it. I'm awesome. So the next little set of clips are the process of um, tagging turtles. So obviously it sounds quite vicious, but it's not. We do need to restrain them so that we don't get a flipper across the face. But it's just showing you the process um, of catching them and then what this tagging setup looks like and we obviously release them as soon as we've done all the checks. It's the welfare of the turtle we're worried about, obviously not just doing it for the sake of it. That would make no sense. bit of a different holiday vlog than I have done in the past simply because I am out here with the purpose of volunteering rather than just relaxing um, and yeah, seen barely any turtles but it was an experience all the same.